Do you guys want to increase your merits? So in this video, I'm going to help you guys out to increase your merits within a week. All these changes will definitely help you out significantly within the game. Now, keep in mind that even if you follow all of these tips that I'm going to give you, you still have to put in the work. If you don't have the time to play the game, then you're not going to get the merits. The merit doesn't just falls down into your lap. So you got to go and fight and do the tips that we're going to give you. These tips that we're going to give you, the six tips, will definitely enhance your gameplay and you can score better in the battlefield. So, like I said, you gotta put in the work to get a lot of merits, but you can do it efficiently. So, let's give you a tip here. Tip number one is focusing on one hero at a time. My biggest recommendation is actually working on a magic unit. I personally can tell you that I focus on mage. When I first started out with the game, I actually had Lilia. I bought Lilia. So if you're a spender, you want to max out Lilia. If you're not spender, don't even buy Lilia. If you're not going to max out Lilia, please do not waste any of your money trying to get that first skill up and then not working on the other ones. It really, you know what? It's not worth it. Only buy Lilia if you're going to have a plan to spend $175 or $185 and max it, you know, the, the commander out or the hero out in here. Now, when I first started into the game, of course, we didn't have a lot of legendaries. I worked on Wild Deer. So many of you guys can focus on Wild Deer and also Alwyn. All right. These two heroes will definitely give you a lot of points in the battlefield in the early stages of the game and of course as you progress into the game you want to focus on some of the legendaries in here so once you kind of work into it you can focus on getting Velin. this is for mage setup now focusing on one hero at a time is my biggest recommendation i recommend mage um, a lot of players will also be working towards to marksman you know, you can work on Nico, you can work on uh, Kinara, you can work on, um, we got, you know, the Gen 2 commanders now, or Gen 2 heroes are Fragar and Sindrion, so you can work on these approaches as well. But remember, the epics are your foundation of your account. So you want to work on to Craig, which I also use in the early stages, and also Guanwin, which is a very, very good hero. So one thing that you need to do is focus on advancing or increasing the skill of a hero first one hero at a time work on first skill first get that to five and then work on to the other skill focusing on one hero at a time will allow you to score better than diversifying too early when you diversify too early you're not going to hit hard because you're not going to get all those buff yes you may have more units out there fighting but most of the time your units that are fighting there will definitely just get wrecked and you're just gonna have to heal them in the hospital so focus one at a time me i mainly have like my mage on the battlefield and i focus on that so that is something that i will give you a recommendation here for the game when you get a little bit stronger in the future and you have more heroes then you can use multiple uh marches to fight but in the beginning to increase your merits fast is you want to focus on a hero one at a time, all right? Now, um, as I've mentioned earlier, I really recommend that you work on Mage or Marksman. These are the units that are going to be used widely in the battlefield. You're going to see most of the open field fighting. You're going to see Marksman heroes and Mage heroes. Now, there are players who are wanting to be a tank base. Now, I am not going to say that you should not play as a tank i love the tank i think the tanks are very very helpful within the game so tanks are critical but if you want to earn merits fast you don't want to focus on infantry infantry are low producing merits because they don't deal a lot of damage um, when you get into the battlefield you are going to be the main purpose of tank so you want to absorb a lot of the damage you want to focus your infantry into counterattack for the talent tree. This is your main focus. So if you want to get merits from your infantry, you want to work on Madeline. All right. Madeline is a great hero because it has this counterattack ability. So this is something that I would tell you if you're going to be focusing on infantry. All right. Now, 
third tip in here is going to be focus on one of my favorite marches within the game is cavalry. With the cavalry, you can increase your merits fast by hunting players, all right, by hunting players in the map when they're farming because you can move fast. Um, another tip that I can recommend if you're playing the cavalry, you can use this cloak, which I've made a video before, this cloak of stealth, and you can hide and you can attack other players and they won't even know you're coming. So this is very important to know. Um, another artifact that I would recommend is the Sorlens Blade. This will give you marching speed that will allow you to move from point A to point B a lot faster within the game. So hunting with cavalry will also give you a significant boost with your merits for the week, all right? So this is very important. Why do we uh, do it in a week? Because our merits store resets every week and you want to improve every single week and get a lot of merits. Now, another thing that you need to be working on here as our tip number four, you want to go in here into your research technology. I want you guys to make sure to focus on upgrading, which I need to upgrade one in here as well. Upgrade your technology, get into T3 right away in the beginning of the game, get into T4, start working on that, and then eventually you want to get into T5. The higher the tech you have, the higher the damage output that you are going to produce. The tankier you are, the more you can defeat other players. When you defeat other players, the more merits you are going to be gaining within the game. So that is very, very important. Now, Tip number five, we kind of talked about this already. Um, you want to kind of focus on to the best artifact. So if you want to score high on merits, you want to go for the attack artifact. So as you can see, on me, I have my Lilia with the Phoenix Eye that provides magic legion attack. Legion attack, which is huge. Now I have Mbakshi, which is a spring blades, which gives us cavalry unit attack. Legion attack. These are very, very important to kind of have an understanding within the game that these attack based artifact is what's going to give you a lot of merits within the game. And important to know also what skills, right? What um, activation do they do? So for Phoenix Eye, when we activate the skill, we can deal more damage towards to the opponents as well, which, which is also going to increase our merits. All right. So this is some of the most important thing to kind of understand within the game. Now, um, I kind of want to insert this in here. As you guys know, um, the keeps, right? There is keeps within the game. You can actually farm them also with your cavalry, right? Farming with count this bonus tip in here. I've made videos about this. When you use um, Spring Warden, you can definitely farm you know, um, into the keeps of the enemy. You just march in your elk riders in there and then you can start attacking them because they are ranging it. They can actually uh, return fire. But if there are melee, they're not going to be able to return fire within the game. Now, tip number six in here is doing merit farming. So as you can see, we're doing some merit farming, which is completely acceptable because at this stage of our gaming, um, our opponent kind of surrendered. We'll see them on the next zone, but we still need to earn merits within the game. Therefore, we're doing merit farming so we can purchase more items within the merit store. The merit store is very important. This is why we need to kind of improve our merits within the game every week. We need to score high so we can buy more. When you buy more, it will allow you to improve within the game. So as you can see, we have bought some speed ups in the merit store. So, all right, so with this six tips that we've given you guys in here, I hope these are very helpful. If you guys have extra tips to provide to us, please let us know in the comment section below. And if you've been doing all these tips already, pat yourself in the back and then smack like onto the video in here. Anyway, my friends, I'll see you guys again next time.